Welcome back, guys, to Persona 5 Royal. The last episode. Continuing to think over what Shido's palace keywords could be, the politician randomly canvassed in our area. As we rushed to the speech where Joker finally realized that this man was the one at the source of all his misfortune. This gave us an idea as to the palace's form as we returned to the diet and proclaimed it to be seen by Shido as a ship. Entering to find an apocalyptic view of Japan's future under his captaincy before starting our first foray to find the treasure. Look at this place. Hmm. This is. I can sense the treasure's presence. It's that way. Let's go, guys. Wait, what? Already? Where are you going? I'm sensing the treasure from that way. Yeah, but I don't want to go that way. I've just made a stark realization. Maybe he's not guarding it. Maybe he's not hiding it because he's had long times to repair this because he is aware of this. Hey. I would like that save room, please. Somewhere. That is probably the most scary thought hey. at this point in time now that we've already sensed it these huge doors are obviously suspicious i wonder what's through here there are slots to stick in something like a key card whoa there's five of them 475 people in favor zero against i hear something just there is no one against the plan this bill will be unanimously passed as drafted. Passed? What's going on? Was that Shiro's voice? If this truly is the representative's chamber as written, beyond here must be the main assembly hall. The what now? It's that large conference room that's usually seen on the news. Oh, that thing! Gotcha! So, what are they doing inside? Most likely a meaningless vote. One in which whatever Shido proposes will always go unopposed. So he's doing whatever he wants by keeping only his supporters in there. What do we do to get in, though? Should we find these keycards? Maybe we need some kind of qualification. One that vows to be his follower or swear loyalty. So basically, we need to prove that we're on his side. <laughs> Uh, we can't do that. I'm not up for it either. Still, we have to do this. But what's this qualification thing about? Why don't we ask the guests on this ship? That's uh, the best idea, I guess. That thought never crossed my mind. Asking around doesn't sound like a bad idea. The guests here are the cognitive versions of them in Shido's mind. They'll know any secrets he shared. True. You have a point. That said, the ruler here is that evil Shido. It wouldn't surprise me if they did turn hostile. Right. Yeah, wouldn't they attack us? We should prepare for the worst, of course. But I think we'll at least be able to talk to them. This ship is most likely an Ark loaded with those that Shido believes are worth keeping alive. It'd explain the luxury cruise ship. I doubt idiots who can't even hold a conversation would be here. We can at least gather information. It helps that everyone's wearing masks. We'll blend in even with our attire. He must believe that no one shows their true face to anyone else. Just like him. Well then, let's split up and ask around! To the safe room first then. Well then. The safe room was taken off to go gather intel. No doubt, I can sense a treasure behind this door. Looks like we've already hit the jackpot. Let's go talk to the others. Okay. Not a straight up scary thing, then. Ah, one of the VIPs used to belong to nobility. Yes, that must be why he can enter the pallet sacred place. It's the sacred place. Heidi's not easily seen, either. But why would someone of his stature always be by the poolside? Well, he must like it there for some reason, but I don't think it's the swimming. <laughs> hey. Beyond this door is the VIP area, and the main assembly hall is a sacred place. Looks like we can't get in unless Shido accepts us. I can hear, like, a map or a special item 
some way around there. <sighs> this feeling. I think there's a safe room around here. Hmm. So there's a safe room in here. This might be a good place to discuss once we've gathered our info. Oh, we've got to gather there's the info chest. first. Joker, let's open. Ivana strength. You're some kind of sadist for making me get info from complete strangers, Joker. But I'll do it. I'm going to avenge my mum. You have the elegance of refinement so sorely lacking in the ordinary citizenry. My, such flattery. High class aura emanates from you as well. So you notice? Ha 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 ha. Oh, certainly. Ha 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 ha. Hey, these guys totally ignore me when I try and talk to them. Well, not that much like I don't got any money. Is it because of the skull mask or something? The high class aura, duh. VIP only singular rooms. <laughs> Same here then. Ah, so that is the president of a TV station. Indeed, Mr. Shido is quite the large circle of acquaintances. It seems you have to be at least that important to be considered a VIP. I'm truly envious. Why don't you go play the slots with him? That might get his attention. Indeed. It appears these people all want to be accepted as one of Shido's special customers. By the way, I've gained some information on the VIPs. We should discuss later. This takes us upwards this time. <sighs> I'm not supposed to go through there yet. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to speak to people here. I either remain silent or spoken simple pleasantries during father's business relations. Ah. Why, even Mr. Ui is the VIP? Ooh. I just saw him at the restaurant. I think an important politician like him has been invited here. Well, support from the political world should mean mental shutdowns are as viable as ever. Oh, I'm quite envious. I wonder if there's a way I can get to know him better myself. Ah, if you wish. <sighs> Hearing people speak so casually about the mental shutdown business makes my head spin. But it seems as though we need certification from five VIPs to become a special customer. These people are willing to share anything. Perhaps it's because their faces are hidden. Joker. Joker, there's something I've noticed too. I actually saw what looked like a map on our way here. Why don't we go check it out? I mean, I did hear it. God, it was there the whole time. Hmm. Just as I thought. Nice. We'll definitely be able to use this to our advantage. Let's take it with us. Well then. Gathered a good amount of info. We might want to regroup and go over it all now. How did it go for all of you? Not great, but not bad either. Well. I was able to get a bit of intel as well. We should sort through what all of us gained for now. Well, let's take a look at the map we obtained earlier and found what appears to be a safe room. Right here. Whoa. Oh, it's close. Perfect. Let's go over our intel there. Joker. Joker, we gotta head over to the safe room so we can, like, discuss and stuff. So we can, like, discuss and stuff. Still, this is a surprise. All the cognitive guests in this palace seem like real humans. The casino earlier looked pretty real, too. But talking with these guests was a whole nother story. You have that right. This ruler's observational skills and insight are off the charts. Shido's a formidable foe. Come on, no need to freak out. I'm not freaking out. I was just thinking it'll be easier to make a plan since they can talk normally. All right. Let's put together the information we gathered. Huh. Gotcha. So we gotta get a letter of introduction from the five VIPs. And those letters become the key cards. You're right. Exactly. Now let's go over what all of us have learned. First, according to my intel, one of the VIPs is an influential politician by the name of Uwe. He's supposedly seen at the restaurant at night and sits at a table near the window. Um, um, I'll go next. I heard about a prominent VIP who used to be nobility. They said he's usually by the pool. Please hear me out. Next is my intelligence. It seems the president of a television station is also a VIP. He always plays slots at night. It would seem he spends his money quite lavishly. Crap, I'm starting to forget people already. Next Listen. is my turn. For real? Even you got info? <laughs> of course, I eavesdropped. Supposedly one of the VIPs is the president of an IT company. 
He's always in his room and reportedly enters from an exclusive hallway. Listen up. Well then, I'll close us out. Well, you get info with your looks. It seems like some guy they call the cleaner is another VIP. I've heard that he's cautious, so it's probably best if we check the other VIPs first. Um... Cleaner? I wonder what they mean by that. Wait a minute, after all the VIPs we listed, this one's a cleaner. Is he really a VIP? Uh-oh. Hmm. Supposedly. Um... I'm sorry, I couldn't get any information. Me neither, so don't worry about it, okay? Let's just work harder during the battle. You're right, I'll do my best. Uh... But there's a bigger problem, you know? No, there's already a big problem with the cleaner. My memory's, uh, not so great. Anyways, who was who, uh... It's no use. I can't keep the profiles of five people straight in my head. I can only remember about two of them. What about you, Joker? Uh, my memory is pristine. Really? Wow! We're up against five people. The politician Owe, a former noble, a TV station president, an IT company president, and a cleaner. We get certification from them and obtain letters of introduction that'll serve as key cards. But only go for the cleaner after the other four have been dealt with, right? Whoa, now that's impressive! You go, genius! If we can't remember the details on the VIPs, let's reconvene inside a safe room. Alright, let's get this done quickly. Hey! We're now to get into the main assembly hall now. Should we head home? Oh, you want to go back already? Mm. There are people in here with special letters. That means Shido trusts them to a certain extent. It would be best to consider them as powerful individuals. We do not want to get too hasty. Let us take our time here. Well... I guess we do have a little time to spare. Well then, let's head back for today. There's our first foray. Now, of course, the real question here is, while everyone is like in, in like an influential part of the market of uh, what a politician needs, <laughs> the cleaner stands out. Because uh, a cleaner could be a term for... Other kinds of jobs. Do you need something? Right, before we leave, we did just pick up some personas. You have business with me? The inmate made a wish to perform fusion. You're a bit silent lately, mister. I've got a saying, that's a bit weird. Right. Can we make some better guys? We can make a Yatagalasu with the Narcissus that we have here. So we haven't actually made a uh, Okuninushi. Uh, you okay with this? Who do I make when? Make the Yatagalasu with the Hekatonchies. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. So you have Makura Break, Dukunda, Agidine. Increases the amount of HP restored to self. Increases SP cost of elect skills. I'm assuming I've got some elect skills to pass over. No, not really. There's effect period of support skills cast on allies by one turn. I even think that's a good one for me to have. Only Tarakaja. None of these are great. Well, we'll carry over Null Ice. It's not even like good stuff that I've got when I look at it now. It will receive extraordinary power. Oh, it looks like I'm probably going to spread things over. Maybe I should have got the health up considering I get Medirohan. Wait, is that you, Medirohan? Yadagalasu, can you sense this noble aura? In that case, I should become a mask and lead you on. Follow me. Feeling that crow shaped heart, the void. <laughs> Medi and Ahan. Last stand. Windbreak. Fully restores HP to all allies. Oh! Nice! <laughs> Very decreased accuracy of all foes' attacks except Almighty when surrounded. Ah. Oh. Isn't that great? Against Makarakan on all foes is pretty good though. And no wind is next for a level. Or two levels for that one. Red Rider, can you go into anyone? Only down, not really up. 
Cerberus can go with the Ethical also to make Quetzalcoatl in the future. If we wanted to. Parvati is with Sukiyomi. Astelius. Not terrible, but Ooh. not impressive. It's pretty cool. Frenzy Bull indeed. Titanomachia. Severe fire damage to all foes with high chance of fear. What? <laughs> not to... Oh, if I can get the no ice there. Oh, the no ice there. Right, so that's Seth and Cerberus. We're obviously going to get be, be able to get more Cerberuses in there, so we can definitely go to something else at the moment. Let's change off Tsukiyomi. You okay with this? And go with Parvati over here. The Arama Cyodyne and Psy Break. Repels Ice. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Decreases SP cost of fire skills. Is that what we want? I mean, why not? Let a repel ice fire user. Ooh. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> drain curse makes you drain repel one strong against two no weaknesses. The only issue after that we don't have any curse skills to put on. I should probably have Vorpal Blade carry over, right? Power. Actually, what's the other one? Megaton Raid is fifth is to one. It will I'll take Vorpal Blade. Extraordinary power. My, my. Looks pretty good for a bit of fusion. I am Parvati. I shall become your mask and grant you a blessing as expansive as a vast mountain range. Behold the Lover's Confidant is awakening your persona's hidden power. So let's get Energy Shower. The other hand. Mapsio Dine. So fully restores HP to one ally and we've got restores medium amount of HP to one ally. Six versus Thingy. Mapsio Dine is heavy physics side damage to everyone. Might just replace the Arama with that. No Ice is something that we can actually have as well, even though we have Repel. But again, it's something that we can carry to someone else. Does Null override Repel? I don't know. It is a fort. Let's put it that way. I'll leave it at that for now. Moloch. Looks pretty tough. Oh, that's the guy we fought in there, yeah. Drains weak, strong, strong, drains null. Oh my god. If I can get the null ice onto him. And yet Igarasu has null ice. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll remember this for next time. Finished, done already. What? We're gonna have some really defensive. Yeah, we're definitely getting that. It is time, inmate. I'll think on it for next week, but I'm definitely getting it and resummoning guys after that. You know, that's just ridiculous. We could just rock with Moloch the whole time. We'll probably be wrecking things. Okay. All right, Joker, let's retreat. Now we're turning to the real world from Shido's Palace. Thank you for your hard work. Yo. Oh, you're back. So this is it, huh? I have to do this. You're right. Do what you need to. I'll try to help any way I can. Just don't be reckless, got it? A palace is an accurate portrayal of Shido's nature. What do you mean? I have to agree. I'm sure he's quite used to traveling, especially on extravagant ships. And it should be obvious he's not using his own money for it. There are all sorts of rumors online. Oh, I get it. He's using tax money. Not cool, Shido. I think he believes that which belongs to others in turn belongs to him. 
even people's lives. That is correct. This country will be a miserable place if Shido becomes Prime Minister. We have to stop him. Right. We gotta pay him back for what he did to all us too. It's just knowing that he knows the game we're gonna play. Election season's here and it's on everyone's minds. Now, not many know... may know this about the diet. The diet decides things with a majority vote, but what happens if the vote is split 50-50? Speaker of the House decides or they flip a coin? Well, it's definitely A, because they surely don't flip a coin. The correct answer is A, the Speaker of the House decides. Let's hear an explanation. In accordance with Article 56, Section 2 of the Constitution, the Speaker of the House makes his decision. After the general election, by law, the Diet's first act must be to appoint a new Prime Minister. Nice going! Oh, you got it right! The type probably doesn't happen very often, though. Yeah, it's a scenario that probably never happens. Incredible improbability. Okay, so I'm not allowed out tonight. Yeah. Feel free to use the cafe however you like. I know it's not much, but it's the least I can do. So we are stuck in here again. Which means the only real thing I can do. I'll not even give you the good stuff now. I can feed my plant. And I can work out for a bit. Training after coming back from another world. You're going to hurt yourself if you don't slow down. Take a break. Well, aren't you mean? Hmm. I've never made curry. Hmm. Do I have to make it in the morning? Hey. <laughs> Guess I'll brew the Ooh. coffee. Looks like starting to get interested in this. Hey, you're not trying to impress me, are you? Or whatever, alright. I'm heading out to buy some cigarettes. So I can't work out. I'm gonna make coffee. Oh, I love the smell of good coffee. Yes! Alright. While you're drinking, it makes it look delicious. We got two master coffees. Yeah, it looks like the chief's gentlemanly charm is rubbing off on you. I guess I only maybe did that one time, so that's the second time. Looks like you're at it again. How's it going? Here, I'll have a sip. Mm. This acidity. This must be Guatemalan SHB. Let me explain. <laughs> the volcanic soil of Guatemala is ideal for growing coffee. Guatemalan beans are ranked by their altitude of cultivation. Strictly hard bean SHB, a grade given to coffee grown at altitudes above 4,500 feet, has a citrus-like acidity and a full body. <sighs> Your favorite profile is bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast full potential. Although I see you're preparing the cup the way I taught you. I'll acknowledge your hard work. <sighs> it's thanks to you that I was able to change. You really are something. But I won't let you have the upper hand when it comes to coffee. Although I have no doubts, your skills will soon surpass my own. I'm overjoyed to have a competent apprentice. Allow me to act as your lead for a little longer. Well then. You should rest now. We have a big day tomorrow. It's me. Sorry, I know you're tired. It'll be a sec, just hear me out. I've decided what I want to do with Shido after going into his palace. We can't let him run free. If there's a heart we gotta steal, it's definitely gotta be his. What's going into you exactly though? I mean, it's just right. Yeah. Man, you knew this whole time, huh? I want to avenge you. That's a no-brainer. But that's not it. If we let him run the country, the weak will be totally effed. Isn't it our duty to protect them? We'll protect them until the end. Remember when I told you that heroes who lurk in the shadows are boring? Well, forget what I said. Those heroes are way cooler. Don't do it for the recognition. Hey, once we change Shido's heart... Uh, no, never mind. Uh, forget it. Let's do it. Let's steal that bastard Shido's heart. I'll do everything I can to make it happen. Thanks for listening to me. See ya. Campaign season has begun. I bet it'll be an overwhelming victory for Representative Shido. 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to vote for him. Maybe I'll actually vote this time. There aren't many politicians who are like Shido-san. Hey. It's the first time. Were you able to sleep last night? A cold snap? Look at hell. I slept pretty well. Oh, I'm impressed. Whatever happens, you always manage to just shake it off. You're finally facing up against your arch enemy. I know you know this, but don't get impatient. Jeez, it's been getting cold lately. We might freeze to death before we can change this up. Let's look to see if we can find anything to help us get warm. <sighs> Hida? Oh, this is good. It's so warm. Hey! Once we take care of Shido. What's wrong? Ah, uh, well. I was just thinking, this might be the last job for the Phantom Thieves. Everyone's goals and ambitions, they're all linked to taking down Shido. That's how I feel. We all became Phantom Thieves for our own reasons. We weren't just playing around. Outside the Phantom Thieves, you also have friends who've been helping you. They believe in you. We have an important battle ahead of us, and we only made it all this way because of them. There's no guarantees we'll make it out of this. See them as much as you can, so you have no regrets. Alright, I understand. Honest, I'm with you. All the way to the end. It's upcoming battle is personal, so we'll do it your way. Now you can fight Shido on your terms. Has this order been taking a lot of days off? I wonder if it's got something to do with his record. Okay, quiet down. I believe I mentioned this before, but his older is back at his family's home. It's a personal matter, so don't go spreading rumors. How long can we keep this up? We need to take care of things before we get caught. Are you sure it's okay for him to be down here working right now? I mean, wouldn't it be bad if a Shujin student walked in and saw him? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Welcome. <gasps> what did I just say? Nah, still fine. Senpai? You, you're not like a stunt double or something, right? Ah, <sighs> it's the real me. I don't know what's happening. But I really hope this isn't a dream. Well, are you pleased? I'm the one who set this up. A little surprise from me to you. I asked Futaba to do me a favor. And I asked Ryuji to pass the message along to Kasumi. I knew you'd be wiped out for a while, so I made sure to give you time to recover first. Oh, thank goodness. I'm just so happy. No one cares about my scheme. Well, it looks like you know what's been going on with him. Take a seat, why don't you? No reason to stand around. I'm going out for a bit to grab some groceries. I'll let you all get caught up with each other. So you're... Yoshizawa-san, right? Well, what's up? <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, nice to meet you as well, Sakura-san. Could you at least figure out whether to be polite or casual? Sh shut up! Don't you underestimate my people anxiety? Mona tells me that you helped him out in that palace a while back. We are awfully grateful for that. Oh no, it was my pleasure. He's usually the one who helps me out. Not only that, I'd promised to repay his kindness to me, no matter what. <gasps> what a refined response. Are we really around the same age? You know, there's something I've wanted to ask you, Yoshizawa. Why were you in that palace in the first place? That's... uh... <laughs> I was wondering that too. Of course, I'm extra grateful that you saved our leader, but if our plan had somehow leaked, then we need to change our tactics from here on out. It all started about a week ago, when we had lunch together on the roof of the school. Oh, but, but that day's when... I got the feeling that something big was going to take place that day, so... I'm so sorry. I was actually following you the entire time. Wait, we were tailed there? We definitely had no idea about that. It's like night and day compared to when Makoto was following us. I've been considering for a while now. Perhaps I should be fighting alongside you if I have special powers like your senpai. I wondered if an outsider like myself should even get involved. But I couldn't just stand back and do nothing. Hey, you saved me. Nothing compared to how much you've done for me in the past. Hmm. 
Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not done here yet, are you? Then perhaps I ought to lend you a hand. Well, we could definitely use the additional firepower, but... If I were offered a help, Shido is more dangerous than any of our previous targets. It'd be wisest to avoid dragging Kasumi into this fight. Senpai? Ah, I appreciate the offer. Well, you say that, but... Honestly, we have no idea what risks you would face. Our enemy this time is more dangerous than anyone else so far. Also, we pretty much brought this entire mess down upon ourselves, so... This is on us. We're delighted by the offer, but we really can't drag you into this any further. Moreover, you have something to do yourself, right? <laughs> I believe I'd be acting selfishly if I were to press any further. Very well, I understand your reasoning. If that's the situation, then I'll wait for you to return. But you have to promise me this. You'll come back safe no matter what. I don't ever want to feel as horrible as I did when I thought you... I'm sure we'll be fine. I'd see you soon is the more blasé reason, though. I really do believe you. Uh, it's time I get going. I've got practice today, as usual. Well, be seeing you. Man, she must be nice not having to go to school. <laughs> not that great, I'm stuck. Bullshit. Dead man cannot go to school, you know. This would all be for nothing if they found out he's still alive. Doesn't it suck to live like a fugitive, though? Always having to hide your face? I don't know. It's a frill. I'm sure it is. No doubt it's hard as well, but please bear with it for now. Don't try too hard to hide yourself. You'll only stand out more. That's always the hardest. Try hard, but not too hard. In any case, we're ready to put the plan into action. Now we need is your signal. Okay. Okay, so you'll stand up too much during the day, so we need to go out at night. We're about to face our toughest target today. Don't skip on your preparations. The plan for changing Shido's heart has begun. Try to steal your target's heart by the deadline. He's tough and knows the metaverse well. Be sure to strengthen your bonds so that you're prepared. I can leave, because you're standing. Hey, sorry to bring this up now. I know you have your hands full, but the mailman can do it. I have faith in all of you. Anyway, here's the info I have. This one is cruel. There's a group of scammers out there specifically targeting old people. Apparently, they're using some sort of spiritual mumbo-jumbo to trick them into paying up. Okay. Mumbo-jumbo. I don't know, like selling them magical vases or something. Anyway, they keep moving around, so it's been difficult to reliably track them. Apparently, the police have just stopped trying entirely. What I've read online, their representative is a guy named Yoshihito Wakasa. Sorry, I don't have any more info than that. Good luck. Hmm. Might be tough for us to go at a time like this, but the info itself was pretty worthwhile. If we had the chance to head into Men Mementos, he'd make a great target. So there is more. But Mementos is an unfinished Fred. And Confidants... ...are open again, but Yusuke's case isn't finishing. I don't actually have enough rep with him yet. I can go out and see Haru at school. Here we go. Obviously, I need to boost Yusuke. I obviously did need to do that last one with uh, Thingy. But we have our last stretch. 23 days until the ballot count. And I'm assuming by what, of course, Morgana was saying, that we should finish these up before we even think about going in the palace again. So where are we standing? Free for Haru. So, three days, four days. I'm amazed this still exists. Six days, eight days, ten days. Amaruki sorted himself out. Ten days to fit in of a 23 day deadline? I think we can do that. But we will do that, of course, next time. Let's get this done. Let's get these confidants sorted. Let's get the uh, the awakenings happening. And our blood oaths formed for tackling Shido properly. 
I'll see you guys next time for more Persona 5 Royal. And oh yes! Did anyone notice where I was like near the end of all the big cutscene stuff where I was like laughing? Like, you know, silently. Showing that I found it funny. It's funny that it's 23 days until we get figured out that we're not in the morgue. <laughs> no one's gonna check if there's a body, but all that time. So dumb. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time for more. <laughs> until then, I say. Bye bye.